Let's revise some basic mathematics which you have already learned in your early school days. In previous video, we have seen the sum of two numbers, 2 plus 2. The plus sign in this line is an arithmetic operator. Python has several arithmetic operators, most of which follow usual rules of mathematics. Plus and minus perform usual addition and subtraction. Multiplication uses an asterisk or simply a star. And division use forward slash. And for exponentiation, Python uses two asterisks or two stars. You can raise two to the power of three using two stars, which results in eight. Please note that there is an operator sometimes mistaken for the exponentiation operator, the caret. This arithmetic operator does not follow the usual rules of mathematics. It is a bitwise operator which we are not covering in this course. So, unlike in Excel, where we use caret for exponentiation, Python uses two stars for the operation. Another useful operator is a percentage sign, which performs modulo operation. It returns the remainder. For an example, 7 modulo 2. We know that the 7 is not entirely divisible by 2. The closest you can get is 6, which is 2 times 3. And what is left from this operation is 1. You might also find use of integer division denoted by 2 forward slashes. It divides one integer by another but rather than giving you the exact answer it rounds down the answer down to an integer like this 16 divided by 3 is 5.333 which round down to 5 and it does not matter if it is a negative integer negative 16 divided by 3 round downs to 6 Let's revise some basic mathematics, which you have already learned in your early school days. In previous video, we have seen the sum of two numbers, 2 plus 2. The plus sign in this line is an arithmetic operator. Python has several arithmetic operators, most of which follow usual rules of mathematics. Plus and minus perform usual addition and subtraction. Multiplication uses an asterisk or simply a star. And division use forward slash. And for exponentiation, Python uses two asterisks or two stars. You can raise two to the power of three using two stars, which results in eight. Please note that there is an operator sometimes mistaken for the exponentiation operator, the caret. This arithmetic operator does not follow the usual rules of mathematics. It is a bitwise operator which we are not covering in this course. So, unlike in Excel, where we use caret for exponentiation, Python uses two stars for the operation. Another useful operator is a percentage sign, which performs modulo operation. It returns the remainder. For an example, 7 modulo 2. We know that the 7 is not entirely divisible by 2. The closest you can get is 6, which is 2 times 3. And what is left from this operation is 1. You might also find use of integer division denoted by two forward slashes. It divides one integer by another. But rather than giving you the exact answer, it rounds down the answer 
down to an integer like this. 16 divided by 3 is 5.333, which round down to 5. And it does not matter if it is a negative integer. Negative 16 divided by 3 round downs to 6. Python membership operators can check if an item exists in another item, such as a dataset. Suppose we have a dataset of invoices that are saved in a variable, invoices. The variable has invoice number and respective amounts of these invoices. We are interested in to check whether an invoice number exists in the dataset. We can write our statement like this. Invoice number AB3 is on the left side of the in operator and the data set on the right side. Let's run it. And the result is true. Yes, this invoice number is included in the data set of invoices. And if you want, you can retrieve related information of that invoice like this. Invoice number, invoice amount, 400. Let's try another invoice number, AB4 and run it. The answer is false as expected because invoice number does not exist in the dataset. The not in operator returns true if an item does not exist in another item. For example, let's check the same invoice number AB4 that we tested earlier resulted in false like this. Invoice number on the left side of the not in operator and the data set on the right side. Run this statement and the answer is true. It is confirming that the invoice number does not exist in the data set. So far, we have seen four data types and different types of operators. We know that the plus is an arithmetic operator that add values. In Python, this operator performs an additional useful job of a string concatenation, means adding two strings together. Let's see a few examples. Suppose you have two variables that have stored two string values. Variable x stored string value revenue for the year is and please note that this entire sentence is within the quotes and variable y stored a string value of 5000 we can combine these two string like this print and in parentheses x plus y which represent those two strings values run this expression and here are our two strings. Please note that I have added a space before 5 in variable y. Otherwise, it would look like this. We can also combine strings with numbers. For example, combining a string stored in variable x with a number value 5000 this time. Let's see what happens when combining 5000 a number with a string first. Run this expression and there is an error. Unsupported type. We are combining two different types of data, number and a string. Python requires us to follow some rules when combining two different data types. Python coding rule is to convert the number into a string first and then combine these two. We will use a string function to convert a number into a string like this. And now let's print it. Revenue for the year is 5000.